I want you to imagine a neighborhood where every home in that neighborhood is a Tesla home, okay? It's probably a bit hard to imagine because you're probably like me and you've never heard of a Tesla home, right? Something completely different has been built near the Heights. A new development where the builder promises if the power ever goes out in Houston for whatever reason, they've got you covered. It's a Tesla-powered neighborhood, the first of its kind and the first in the country. They look like multi-level townhomes that you see all over Houston these days, but these are actually unique. And here's why. This community is making headlines everywhere right now. The homes themselves are flying off the shelf. And one of the most interesting things about this is that of all places, this Tesla neighborhood is sitting in the heart of Houston, a city that was actually built on oil and gas. It might sound a little bit futuristic, but it's not. Like these homes are built, they're finished, they're on the market, and they're selling right now as we speak. In today's episode, we're gonna take a closer look at everything that I could dig up on this fascinating new home community in Texas. Plus, I'm bringing on the real estate agent who's selling these homes to tell us exactly what makes a home a Tesla home, how some of these very unique details and features on these homes work. I ask her what the buyer response has been so far. And of course, we need to dive into whether or not there's been any pushback from buyers due to all of the political drama that's going on with Elon Musk lately. Images like these have come in from across the country. People upset with Tesla owner Elon Musk actions in Washington damaging Tesla cars and dealerships. But what about the Tesla-powered neighborhood now open in the Houston Heights? Let's get into it, but really quick before we do, I just want to give a quick disclaimer because I know some of you will be thinking this, but this video is not sponsored. Nobody paid me to make this video. I just thought it was a really interesting story, and I thought that you guys probably would too. For anyone who hasn't heard of this community or hasn't met you before, give us just a high level overview on what this community is all about and who you are. So um, to start off, I'm Jamie Fallon. I am the supervisory broker at Next Gen Real Estate. When I was approached to sell these, it's called Utopia Homes. They're the very first Tesla, all-inclusive, not connected to the grid, power communities in all of North America. Like, so I was stoked. I was geeked out. I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this and run with it. And everybody's like, oh, well, what about the Elon Musk situation? And I was like, you know what? Bad publicity is still publicity. So I'm going to take this by the horns and just go. Now, there are two different models of three-story homes that are offered here. They average right around 2,000 square feet each with a total of 11 homes in the community. Prices on these things range from about $525,000 for the smaller models, and they go up to about $545,000 for the larger homes. What we've essentially done is put shingles, Tesla powered shingles, they're photovoltaic shingles. So they're part glass and part metal and they capture the sun while protecting your roof at the same time. And then they go down once they take that energy and they go down into this inverter, which converts that solar energy from the sun into electricity. And it's stored in what's called a power wall inside the house. So we have it on the second floor of the garage. And so those power walls, you know, go into your phone, into the Tesla app. And that's how you control when and where your power is distributed through the house, what times of day. I mean, you can control everything. And then... What's even cooler is you can sell it back to the grid. The idea of a house that can basically sustain itself is really interesting to me. I mean, just out here in Arizona, utility bills can run anywhere from $500 to $1,000 per month in the summertime. So just for that purpose alone, to be able to eliminate your utility bill, I can see the draw here for sure. Last I read, there was 11 homes total and only four were left. So I guess that means the buyer response has been very positive, right? Yeah, it's been very positive. Um, Utopia Homes has actually kept some back because they're kind of doing a test pilot on leasing these and seeing how the renters feel about that and how, if they're taking it and using this power and harnessing it. We have not had any kickback from people like, oh, well, it's a Tesla home or we're oil and gas. You know, I've got oil and gas executives that are looking into purchasing these things. And I'm not going to name names because... Yeah, that's just bad. But um, yeah, people are super interested. And we also have people coming from all over the country that are interested in it. We have a gentleman that just moved here from Washington, D.C., that he's closing on his house in two weeks or his new Tesla house. Houston's kind of the melting pot of Texas. We have all different cultures because of 
the oil and gas community comes from all over the, the world, essentially, to be here to work. In a city this famous for oil wells and energy corridors, this community is kind of flipping the script a little bit by using solar exclusively for its power. But it's not just saving you money on your energy bills. Having these power banks in your house comes with a bunch of other benefits too. Like for one, it gives you backup power during power outages. So these power outages, at least from like what I see on the news, it seems like they yeah. happen kind of often, right? Oh yeah, more often than people think. So that happens to us, I would say at least twice a year. I lost power in my house for a few hours and I had to replace all the groceries in my fridge. It's happening more and more and more. And we get these storms that roll in and they roll out as quick as they roll in, but they do so much damage because our electricity here is on power lines in the air. We had a community that went down and these people were out without power for two weeks. In the heat of the summer, people were freaking out. I mean, people were dying, you know, and they're dying because of the heat. They get heat stroke. I mean, you can only keep yourself yeah. cool for so long and especially older people, you know, kids, babies, People have bought, you know, bottle feed their kids and they can't even heat up a bottle, you know, stuff like that. So it's crazy. It's just crazy. Back to the buyer response. But has there been any pushback from the whole Elon Musk, him being all in the political sphere right now? Have buyers kind of come in and said like, uh, I like the house, but no, not really. Um, I think people want it to, you know, if, if you search. If you Google search uh, Tesla Homes Houston or Tesla Homes Jamie Fallon or whatever, you're going to see all the little keyboard warriors on the bottom that are like, <laughs> oh, I hope they burn. I mean, it's all the people that hate Elon Musk, obviously. I mean, you, you're going to have those people that are just have no idea what they're talking about in terms of the homes. They're normal homes. They, they look exactly like every other home. And so the cool thing about them is they're the same price point in the neighborhood where they're at, which is kind of that Timber Grove, Greater Heights area in Houston. Same price point as all the other homes, but they have these bells and whistles, whereas the other homes don't. As a builder and developer myself, anytime I hear about something that's a little bit more innovative in terms of construction, the first place that my mind is going is that you're probably going to have a bit of a hard time with the permitting process. Both the city and the city inspectors sometimes just don't know how to wrap their head around these newer building concepts. Not surprisingly, the developer here did run into some challenges like that, which actually dragged out their build time on these homes quite a bit. It was slow going in the beginning because it took, it takes a long time in Houston to build with the city and especially with a product that the city doesn't understand and they don't know and the inspectors and the permitting and that process took a lot longer here than it, than it should have to build the same product without the Tesla components of it. And so you, you have to deal with that as well. The Tesla neighborhood isn't just a story about smart homes or tech. It's really a glimpse into how the homes that we live in are changing and evolving, even in more traditional cities like Houston. Everybody thinks there's so much land in Texas. Well, there is, used to be in that neighborhood, houses were on 10,000 square feet lots. And so in Houston, we have so many people that want to move here. Investors like myself, I'm also an investor and builder, uh, developer, will take that 10,000 square foot lot and we'll separate it into three, you know, so yeah. now you can put three houses on it. And so there's nowhere to go but up. The way that we get around has definitely changed a lot over the last couple of years. The way we communicate has changed. The way we get information has changed too. And something tells me that the way that we live in our homes will be changing quite a bit over the next couple of decades. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next week.